Hey folks, Killboy here. Another 12 minutes on a gorgeous Saturday. It's about uh, 2 p.m. today. Don't really have a ton of stuff to talk about, so I uh, thought I'd do it more midday and get a little more show. Got the, set, the camera set up on one direction. I tried to get the whole turn in the shot, but I just couldn't fit it. I might move the camera around if I have time when things might be coming more from one way than the other. Um, thanks again for the feedback and keep it coming. Appreciate it. Anything you're thinking while you're watching these, let me know. Uh, police today, there was two sheriffs came in about an hour and a half ago, I guess, and stuck around for maybe 20, 30 minutes on this end. I'm near the state line, so it's pretty far in for those guys. And, and they went back out, and that's all I've seen. It's been a pretty uh, open day out here, you know, just all different crowds and fairly busy. The Z Club is here, Nissan Z cars. had like 600 some odd registered so we're busy Speaking of the police, there are some rumors, as always, going around about how crazy they are out here and all this. And, you know, they're doing all these sneaky tactics and everything. Um, some fresh stuff going around. Using clunkers and, and arresting you if you have a radar detector. This is not true. Uh, But the sneakiest thing I've seen is they just have the unmarked late model SUVs. I mean, it's not real hard to... to spot those guys. They're usually running around with marked cars as well. So they don't have to be real sneaky. They can drive right past everybody and park right, you know, in the middle of the gap. And people will just drive right to them like they were not there. Um, it's, they don't have to do anything really uh real sneaky or anything like that so anytime you hear stuff like that it's it's typically not too uh, years ago they did a sting where they were up in the woods with cameras but that was like six seven years ago and it kind of backfired i think they haven't done anything they don't need to do anything like that i mean people will just drive right up to them speeding as it is they're actually pretty lenient and they let people play as long as you're not too out of control and causing any problems or anything um you know they kind of they're walking a line between trying to allow people to enjoy coming here but not get out of control at the same time. So it's kind of a fine line that they have to deal with. Um, one of the questions was, why do we shoot locals and do we sell many of those? Uh, as far as like pickup trucks and things like that, I think, is what they were getting at. white Camaro right here for instance the regular local guy um, 
you know, it doesn't really cost anything much, storage and things like that, of course, but it's all electronic, digital cameras and electronic storage and everything, so it's not too bad. And if there's anything else around that's more higher priority, you know, we'll just go ahead and shoot anything that goes by. Um, you never know, we've sold. Sold pictures to church groups of church buses, and um, sometimes the police like to get a shot or two. You know, we hook them up. They always get to hook ups with everybody, I guess. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's like right here, SUV. It's got out of state plates actually, so it could be a tourist. Texas. There's a possibility there, so why not? You know, if I'm sitting here and not doing anything, I might as well shoot them. Um. You know, somebody's yelling. Um, I want to kind of go over some one of the things that we see a lot and especially when we travel you know everybody hears about how crazy everything is up here and it's kind of funny Lori made a good point one time we were up on one of the motorcycle shows up north anything that happens on this road you're going to hear about it wherever you are probably but things happen on your roads and we're probably not going to hear about it so you know understand that this is just an easily memorable name it's been well marketed so everybody kind of knows you know the dragon the dragon anything that happens up here it gets it gets around and everybody hears about it, it just kind of gets over reported just keep that in mind when you're you know when you're hearing these things there's a lot of cameras out here not just us but other people with video cameras So whenever something does happen, it's usually well documented and, and uh, you know, goes around the web, whereas most places, there's not that many cameras and things going. So it's just a lot of good coverage here and then it's easily memorable, the name and all that. So keep that in mind, you know, like the, the Hell Roads piece that was on Discovery Channel, they really uh, dramatized that bit for entertainment purposes and got a, little, got a little wild. It was interesting to watch, but it wasn't very accurate. But understandably, it spooks people when they hear about, you know, blood-soaked highway, blah, blah, and, and really it's just, it's just another federal road. Um, it's significantly twisty, but the real danger is just you making a mistake more than anything, especially now that semis are really kind of dying down. Um, so, yeah, I was hoping there'd be a little more traffic to keep, to keep uh, you guys occupied. Um, we're in kind of a lull here. Easy now. There's been some pretty big groups of bikes and cars, but it comes and goes, so. One tip I was going to try to cover, you know, like one one tip on each one. And the thing this week I was thinking about uh, going over was shifting. I see we see a lot of people kind of over shifting if they're kind of new here. Most of the faster local guys, things like that, don't shift a whole lot, um, especially on the sporty bikes. I understand on the cruisers there's not as broad of a RPM range to work in. You might shift a little more, but uh, try to pick a gear and, and stick with it. You know, second or third gear, and just um, maintain your speed and work on being smooth not lurching around with all the gear shifting you know it's unnecessary gear shifting at that
keep your RPMs down, pick a gear that's maybe second or third, like I say, that keeps the RPMs a little bit low so you, you don't sound so crazy, first of all, you don't draw attention to yourself by the people you don't want, you know, paying attention to you so much. And, and work on blipping the throttle on your downshifts and matching your revs. Uh, see a lot of people wreck and, and uh, it's because they misshifted going into a turn, the bike gets all sideways or, you know, squirrely and upset and then they have a hard time maintaining a turn. So blip the throttle, you cruiser guys especially, you know you're bad for blipping the throttle when you start the bikes in the parking lots and all that. Apply that to your riding. Blip that throttle when you downshift, learn to time it and you won't have those clunks and those long downshifts where they you know drag the tire and everything um, and it'll be a lot smoother it might save your butt at the same time so i think that's about it for this week uh, Check us out at killboy.com for your pictures, please. Um, it's our sole income, so. <laughs> Until next time. Y'all be careful out there. Play nice with the others, please.